welcome to Fluid Art by Christine. How you guys doing today? So it's um, actual Memorial Day today. So I want to give a shout out to all of the veterans out there, everybody in our families and our loved ones and our friends that have gone out there and fought so for our freedom. And this day is to remember them and thank them. So I need putting that out there. So anyway, I'm gonna do some cell work today. I'm loving it. I got Dutch pours out of my system, <laughs> at least for a little while. And I really did enjoy it, but I kind of feel like I'm doing the same thing over and over again right now. So whenever that happens, I change the channel. So back to cell work for a while. And I love the painting that I just did the last video, uh, the 20 by 24, I called it, um, snowy white river or something like that. I couldn't think of a name for it. Um, but I love it. It's drying well. I can't pick it up just yet. I'll show you in the next video when I can pick it up. Um, I do want to show you this one's all dry and looking good. I think I like it like that, but there it is. Love it. Love this one. Love it. Cells just look really, really really cool and this will be resined um, in a little while and put into my Etsy shop so um, it's gonna be a couple weeks though so it has to do all its drying and curing and all that good stuff but it will be in my Etsy shop um, so right now I am going to be doing a, um, a 10 by 10 I think that's what this is gallery wrapped so I'm using the same pouring medium that I've been using for cells, um, 12 ounces of blue wall, um, four to six ounces of Floetrol, depending, it really doesn't make a difference. If I use six ounces of Floetrol, I don't use GAC. If I use four ounces of Floetrol, then I use two ounces of GAC. That gives me 20 ounces. So um, it's, all the, it's all pretty much the same. It works the same. With the spot on treadmill belt silicone, um, I am using some colors that I've already mixed up. I've already added my silicone in, and most of these colors, oh, well, I'm using these, have uh, two drops of silicone in them already. So you're not going to see me mix them in, but there's two drops in each color, no silicone in the white. But I just wanted to say hi to you guys and show you my face. Here's my face. It's still there. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's get down to the painting. Okay, so I've got a bunch of leftover paint, um, and then I added some colors. Gold, I added to my choice options. Um, made up a bunch of white. Um, and I've got black. Uh, if you guys have watched my videos, I don't know if you've ever noticed, I never use black, okay? It scares the crap out of me. I don't know why. I am breaking the chains, okay? The chains. Okay. So I'm gonna put this aside while I fill this cup. I think this cup will be enough for this, even though I have to cover the sides, as long as I fill it all the way to the top. So I'm gonna do that. So the idea behind this is um, black, gold, white, and I have some of this too because I wonder if this is gonna to be too dark. Hmm. Um, so yeah, maybe a little of this light blue. Okay. So uh, essentially gold always disappears and I am going to put gold in the cup first. That way it comes out last. How about that? Mess with me gold. I do put less silicone in gold because I always get wonky cells. This is another thing. So I'm, I'm kind of like, I don't know, I'm probably gonna screw this up because I don't have any luck with black and I don't have any luck with gold. So, doing blue. I'm not gonna put my white next to my black either. Hmm. 
Mm, that looks pretty. So here I'm going to put some white because I didn't put any white in yet. So I don't know if you guys noticed, I don't usually paint inside. I have my art table set up in the garage. But let me tell you, ooh, this gold is really thick. Yeah, ooh, I might have overdone it. But usually it's too thin and I'm kind of hoping if I make it a little thicker than usual, maybe I'll have better luck with it. I don't know how good that reasoning is, but I don't know, I'm gonna try it anyway. I'm just gonna get some of this color in here. That's pretty. Anyway, my garage. I usually paint at night because it's cooler. This time of the year, it's very hot. And I don't know if I'm getting older or what's going on, but oh, I can't even step outside for a second without sweating. And the other day when I did that big pour and I was out in the garage, <laughs> I mean, I didn't think it was noticeable, but my hands inside the gloves were sweating so hard that you could see that my, I was drenched inside from the, from the humidity. It was crazy. So, and then there's bugs flying all around. You know, that doesn't help either. I have a little Prussian blue over here, which is just a little bit darker of a blue. And so instead of using black at this point, because I already put black in it twice and I'm stopping there, I'm going to put this Prussian blue. This thing, paint is thick, but I've been getting good results with thicker paint. So I'm not afraid. I'm going to do gold again. It might be too thick. I might be kicking myself. Should have put more water in it, but we'll see. If the result is good, that's all that matters. If not, oh well. I just made, wasted a little paint. Okay. Okay, so just to make sure that I have enough to roll it around, I am going to wet my canvas down with white. So between the, the humidity and the bugs, in the garage I have literally been chased inside and I just have to kind of drag stuff in and out you know because I don't have a spot for it inside the house <laughs> for everything that I use but um, I probably I actually have another painting in mind I'm probably gonna go ahead and shoot a couple videos today and because um, I have a couple of, I've been inspired you know when you get inspired you just you really need to go with it, go for it. Don't put it off because then the inspiration kind of goes away and you're like, what was I thinking about again? You know, even if you make a note, like, cause I do, I make little notes. I'll write things on post-its or whatever. <laughs> Sometimes I can't get the motivation, but, um, I'm feeling lots of motivation that right now, this week. Just popping some bubbles, make it look pretty. Again, another reason to do this, put a background on, is because I have silicone in the... No, do I? Where's my cup? I don't have silicone on the top. Okay. If you ever have silicone paint on the top of your cup, put a layer on the canvas because you don't want silicone to hit your canvas and it could cause a uh, bald spot. That would be horrible, right? All right. Boom. Okay, wait for that to come down. So I want to put a shout out in this video and I have uh, made comments on her videos and um, I'm talking about Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. 
If any of you by any chance don't know who she is, you really need to look up Waterfall Acrylics in her YouTube page. She has um, great talent, great knowledge. I have learned a lot from her. Thank you, Karen. I thanked her in the comments the other day and I've thanked her multiple times. I, don't, I just don't think she realizes how much of an inspiration she is to me. And I wanna say that you know to you and from my heart to hers, I don't know if she watches my videos, but if she is watching this, um, Karen, you know, I really appreciate everything. You know, I still love that painting, the cove, <laughs> in her Etsy shop, and it's not sold yet, but I can't afford it. And it's beautiful, it's worth every penny that she's asking for it, but I can't afford it, so. Um, and I told her, I said, all I can do is try to make it, <laughs> which will never happen. But I can try. Because she did actually do that video on camera. So that was a big inspiration, that painting. Um, I really love sandwich pours. I didn't even know what a sandwich pour was until I saw uh, Karen do it. And um, sandwich pours are awesome because I don't always like that full coverage cell look. I like a lot of negative space in between. So that's the only way I know how to really create negative space in between is to do a sandwich pour. And um, so I am gonna be doing another one um, today on a big canvas. It's gonna be an 18 by 24. I'm gonna do a sandwich pour on that. So Karen, if you're watching, um, I am dedicating that painting to you. <laughs> All right, I think she's ready. Oh boy. How's it gonna look with black in it? Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. And that was another Karen inspired move. She calls wrecking it. She wrecks it. So that's the first time I've ever done that. I don't know, do I like it? I I don't think I messed it up that much. Yay! Okay, so what now? I think I'm gonna roll it around a little. It's a lot of paint. I might have put too much on there. I'm definitely gonna have to pour some of this off. But I do want to have, I was thinking get that gold up, which I obviously don't see any right now. So I see some under the white there that might come up. All right, I'm gonna stop. Too many cells. Ooh, lots of cells. This white here though, I feel like, should I leave it alone? Just a little bit right there only. Okay, nothing's happening. Wow, look at those gorgeous cells. I'd like to wait to see, you know, how they're gonna do a little bit. I mean, you can rush into tilting it, but I like to enjoy the process a little bit you know, see it open up for me. It's so pretty. Okay, what am I thinking here? I really like this bottom part. So I'm gonna go, just feeling it out where the weight of the paint is. This is actually really cool. Hey. Okay, don't speak too soon. I even like that. That, that corner is like pretty done too, isn't it? Look, I got black cells with white rings. What? Oh my God. You guys, I never did that before because I never used black. <laughs> oh gosh, I don't want to pour them off. I really like them. Okay, just go fast. Rip off the band-aid. Okay. Lost some of them. Oh my god, you guys. This looks so pretty. Okay, I have to stop though. Oh my gosh. I like it. See? I'm telling you. Karen really knows what she's talking about. 
Anyway, so this is gorgeous. I'm happy with it. I'm wondering, is there enough, is there too much paint though? Huh. See, now this formula, you guys, I have had a couple of comments say, you know, wow, your paint seems to be thick. It is thick. It is thick. But look. I mean, there is such a thing as too thick. But the cells, I could probably stretch them out even more. Okay? And they'll just get bigger the more you stretch them out sometimes. I mean, obviously, there's an end to everything. But it's, it's like the thicker paint it holds the cell shape stronger. If you're pouring medium, if you use too much pouring medium um, or too much water, it creates a thinness. It's very thin and the cell shape will just, as soon as you start to move it, it will just dissipate. It won't be round anymore. And I tell you what, that was a hard lesson for me to learn, guys. It took me a long time to learn it. I was stubborn, stubborn, stubborn. More black cells, they're tiny ones. So, that's really pretty. <gasps> I love this. And I got the light blue, light, light blue cells. I'm gonna bring you guys in for a close up because I have a feeling that you can't see it as well as I can. I'm gonna give you a close up. And it was just a big bubble. Wow. Now I didn't get the gold as much, but I don't care. Really, really happy with this. Okay. There she is, guys. Wow. I kind of get the whole black thing now. I really like it. Oh my gosh. And the, and the wreck it method. That's a little bit, like, hard to do. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. Because it's in the spur of the moment. you got to, like, get on it. And you could totally, you know, the name is perfect. You could totally wreck it. <laughs> I'm really happy. Guys, let me know what you think, okay? And um, anything else that you have to say, please put in the comments below. Love to hear from you. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to see more cell work in the next, I don't know how many paintings it could be. Uh, I don't know. Who knows? And um, I will see you guys next time. Bye now.